Right, back with now. the uh, more of the new game plus. Again, just rushing through this. Through here. Cheats on. Um, yeah, we're doing this to get all the upgrades and all the remaining collectibles. So, so that's parts. Again, I don't remember exactly where the parts are, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> It is weird how un unlimited health isn't one of the cheats. Like I know they get, like there's the unlimited health kits here, but it's like it's weird that they just don't like make it so you just don't lose health. But whatever, I guess. Um. Yes, yeah, so next collectible is not until outside. There's only two collectibles even there, so I just missed one for some reason. I don't care. Is that your people? What do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. Joel, give me a hand with this. Oh yeah, I forgot I was listening to the podcast. We'll, we'll continue to do that. Yeah, but people are back. Like, I would hate that Michael would view this as a man. Of, like, that was such a huge move. Put me up where I'm going to leave. And then I find that it's like, in order for someone to do that, they have to know that there's already backing. And so, yeah. like, you, Mike, hey, Monty shouldn't I get all the credit. Like, you should get some. But I think that at that point, everyone's going to out. Like, uh, everybody gets credit for getting rid of Michael. Michael, you have, you have anti credit for making yourself such an obvious target at that yeah. point. So I don't think that that should be this, like, big move of the season. It was the one extremely obvious move that happened. Like, the thing Monty did was win the challenge against Michael, which I can appreciate. Like, I think. Him and then turn our winning the challenges. I think you have to account for the fact, though, that, like, that's the way I go under the bridge. This is Michael's perspective. He is the yeah. hero of the story. story, and so for him, that was the, big moment. It was the moment he lost. And so for him, it's the biggest moment. Uh, right? And I think he also recognizes that, like, Turner didn't remember. really want to do it, and that it was Monty that told him, I'm, I'm doing this to you. Uh, and it was Monty that clearly convinced Turner to do it. Uh, yeah. And so I, I think from Michael's perspective, it really does feel like a plan. It's hard because I, I think if you think of like bitter juries, you can think of it kind of both ways. Like people could say, oh, Michael's bitter for not voting for Monty because he doesn't respect him and Monty made. Or you could say, well, Michael is bitter at Taylor who we worked with for much longer for not backing him when he was, when he was on the board. So I don't know. It's like a loose loose there. I think that any, if there's any, any of Michael that you would like to give his vote to Taylor, it would be easy for him to say, I was working with her all the time at the marriage point. Everybody was coming for me. I knew I had to win the veto or else I was going to be the one that was gone. I think it's easy for him to. And just be like, okay, I'm gonna go over to you because I'm gonna do a little bit better, and then I don't have to vote for the person that actually is getting me out. So, I don't know, well, that's, that's, that's really interesting. What I really want to do is, uh, I, 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 I'm like, I'm like 60, 40, but I think 60% probably goes to my team, which is really bitter. But, depending on how people spin in that jury house, maybe, 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 maybe,
maybe she can win the respect of like Jasmine uh, and um, and Joseph um, yeah. and I think, Michael. I, I think she. I think she beats him. I, 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 yeah. It's it's strong because Amy was very anti Britney when she came out. Uh, I, I have a hard time seeing her getting Indy's vote. Um, I think that Alyssa probably gets Turner um, and uh, and Kyle obviously. Yeah. By the way, I also uh, forgot to skip. Like, I think on paper Britney should win. Puzzle but earlier. Almost nothing in the game. The problem is when you actually look at the votes. That's where I see the Alyssa win. Is you're like, well, yeah, but Jasmine's yeah, going to win. And it, it stinks when you look at the votes, but you're like, What's on paper, Brittany's done. Like, she's won more competition. She's been in more alliances. Oh, she's no. had more, like, active gameplay, even if it wasn't necessarily in her favor. And uh, right. yeah, that's a very frustrating scenario. But that's, that's why I do see, like, the reason for why, like, if Brittany really wants to pull the Hail Mary win, I think the first step in that journey is taking out Taylor this week. And then she just has to win Final Four and Final Three. If she's able to take out both of these guys and bring Alyssa to the end, I think she has a case to make. She could still lose. But it's at least oh, a case. Shit. If she lost in that scenario, this is a tragedy. I, I, like, jury management, I would be the reason. Yeah. I, I, forgot, I completely forgot about the whole situation. Look, I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me. Speaking up in their heads, the entire time, Taylor's not going to go for that. Monty's not going to go for that. Taylor, maybe. Taylor might be Taylor's very wish. She might want to go for that. Her best bets are Taylor, Michael. She will have turned on Taylor, though. Taylor, Michael, Joseph. So, I don't think it's this one because I, yeah, I did I did remember this one. So it's the other one. Oh, okay. I did miss it. I mean, that's, listen, really? at the end of the day, like, for as much as I think a lot of people would love for choice. the final vote to always be who yeah. deserves it more, uh, lost it's a lot not of men. that uncommon for it to be, uh, you know, who deserves it less. Um, and, uh, and then sometimes that would decide itself. Uh, we will see. We will see. I think that, um, that really the only way that both Brittany and Alyssa get there is if Brittany has a chance to beat Alyssa. So I would probably have that. As soon as you come off the elevator. I do still would say I think that Alyssa has the edge over Brittany. Um, ask the audience who they want to give it this week. Uh, 87% said Alyssa. Um, who do you want to win? Yeah, Which I always all hate you. Who's waiting for us at the drop? Uh, Taylor, 65%. Still on the game. Firefly, travel all the way to another city. Um, it's more interesting game. You're almost being born. Well, it's definitely, uh, Turner thinks what Taylor, uh, you, uh, some Brady gets Taylor, the folks who think Turner, Monty. Something like that. Ipix. I, I, see, I think Monty's more like different Taylor Final 2. But at Final 4, if Brittany's not an option, he might decide he wants to yeah, that was Turner to make sure that he has Turner to beat uh, Brittany in the Final 4. Uh, right. so we got two artifacts in downtown. It's cool. Brittany would be an interesting one, uh, I would say, for sure. Um, all right. I also asked the audience a mm -hmm. very important question because uh, some things have happened. Um, are you Team Monte <gasps> or Team Jailer? I don't like the name Monte because the way Bill works written down. Monte weird. I mean, it's a different pronunciation. Monte. Monte versus Monte. Now hold up. There's a patrol up ahead. I mean, look, I'm a realist, and one of those two things happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, We're well, good. Come on up. I really am, because I, I thought that he said that he had Don't something get. going on back home. Like, I, I thought that that was, like, in his intro package. So, Watch your step. As long as this whole thing has been going on, <laughs> he has like, a little bit of flirty energy. But I really feel like this is another instance of, like, the deactive anime, where everyone was just blowing it out of proportion, and they were projecting their own luckful attention on me too, and then cricket. It's raining. And then after the cricket, it's the game I play on the cover of Maggie. <laughs> like, why, why, why are people believing this? I think that's I'm actually, actually outside. I'm one particular. I don't think that it rises to the level that a lot of people want it to. So I don't even have any. I don't, I'm not going to be more team on it. I'm not damn sure I'm not going to be team jailer anyway. I'm going to be team jailer doing whatever the hell she wants to do. Unless yeah. she's even attacked. Yeah, people yeah. wanted me to give a third option, but uh, then everyone would have chosen the third option, and it wouldn't, we wouldn't have had an interesting result, so... I'm team Monte with Taylor then voting him out. Like, that's hilarious. That's great. That's the best. So, well, I will be team... Romance is right I will be team Jailer. Not for the sake of... I got two dead uniforms. But for the sake that... Follow me. Taylor just didn't have a team. And one day we did. Oh, Taylor did one. All right, well, 76% of the audience is team go, go. Jailer. Don't stop! We're gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the same question next week. We're gonna see if this changes at all. We're gonna see if uh, the Monte uh, uh, shippers rise uh, or fall. Um, so uh, let's see. So you can't do that anymore, right? Yeah. Turner's HOA train during the double eviction. They gave us 6.7. Um, I think that 
it's big, honestly, a little high. Obviously, it takes out uh, Michael. That's great. Um, but I didn't like enough. the way that he did it, uh, where it was just so clear that it wasn't his fault. It was Monty's fault. It really didn't correct him. The tech man. Turner is more, uh, sort of, um, like, definitive, uh, more confident with his decisions. Like, sorry, Michael, I gotta do it. Uh, so, like, uh, whereas Monty's like, it's gonna happen. Wow, very light skin is so fucking easy to speed around him. Like, it's literally just you running through everything. After a cutscene, you'll start heading into downtown Boston. The first thing you'll do is climb up the bridge on top of the ramp. We hope. Of actually, evacuation. Oh, that is one. Of them. <laughs> All right. This next one. Bomb the hell out of the surrounding areas to the quarantine. So we need to we need to talking about the Kyle stuff. Uh, what the hell was that? Did she hear that? Yeah. Rightfully, it's like, really far oh my God, she defended herself about the situation, but she was like, I might be I did something wrong. Like, I did my best. I'm sorry. I think if that's all of it, I think she's still fine. Uh, I think his mistake is talking about the Turner stuff. Um, and talking yeah. about, like, the fact that you made a final two deal with Turner, the fact that you're Over lying here. to everybody. Like, I just, why are you questioning me about my loyalty if you're making a final two with Turner? She's, and she's like, you have a final two with Turner. Like, how can you give me this indignation about the Turner stuff? When the you're test. working with Turner, like I should be questioning you about if you knew about you know what was happening on Turner's age because you mm. did know. Like, uh, like that's where I think he loses her, right? Um, and and I think that's uh, I think that's where I'm like, okay, that that's where you have made a mistake game wise. Like I, I know it's cliche, but my favorite move in these games, and we saw a lot of it in Big Brother Canada this last year, is the like, hey, right. we're enemies, so we're being, you know, had, had disagree about something, but no one would see it coming coming if we work together. And like from that perspective, and I know this is an extremely game bot perspective. I don't want anyone... Like, okay, so next one's not to the Molly. I don't, I'm not going to appreciate anyone doing anything that good. Like, it's a ways away. No matter how justified they think they are. Someone could, could say horrible Dude. things about you, whatever. Dude. And again, I know with, like, for people, you're going to be upset. Obviously, there's a lot bigger going on yeah. here when it comes to the Kyle stuff. Oh, but when it comes to, like, your Turner stuff... Years of infectional duty. When you get to the final five of this game, everyone needs to just, like, what? stop with the, uh, like, petty annoyances and just be like, yes. I can understand that everyone at this point in game has hopefully made some deal with everyone else here because they should, otherwise they're not playing a good game. And you're going to be like, well, I heard you made an alliance without me. Just assume they did make an alliance without you and then move forward. What can you do now? You may have made a deal with Turner, maybe you didn't. Maybe you lied about it, maybe you didn't. What can we do now? And I think that's kind of where Brittany was trying to be like, wait, so you don't want to work with me despite anything I did? And yeah, my frustration with Monty or anyone else in this scenario is just like, not 
you know, not seeing the forge for the tree, like not seeing that we're at the end, Man. this is the game, put everything else aside, you're empowered now, but you might not be next week, or at the very least, if you can't the jury, work on your jury vote, or if you something changes tomorrow, you need to you out, just want to see. I think this is a cut scene. Uh, I think yes, he's pretty much done the best that we could here. Um, you know, start Brittany, when talking to Alyssa earlier today, yeah. was feeling, you know, she, she was very emotional in the conversation. It did seem like she was, Alyssa was kind of telling her some stuff about Taylor that she, I think, was not super pleased about, uh, which is part of why it felt like it was maybe a little more genuine than some of the other conversations she's had. She's now talking to the camera saying, Over there, I don't trust anyone here, not Monty, not Turner, not so Taylor. Much uh, so, <laughs> I do think it's possible yeah. that this could turn back around on Monty here. Uh, if Taylor leaves, that would be very bad, very bad for Monty because I do think that Turner would then be fully on board to take him out at four. Monty would be competing against basically the field. Uh, maybe Brittany would come back around and try to take out Turner at that point, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, it, he didn't even say that someone will lose. Oh, 
Let's just get out of here. Test go. Alright, hold on. But I do think that by and large, it's just how the Big Brother has always been. Um, it's, you know, when it rains more, it's never know. It does, uh, I ask the audience to rank the players from their favorite to their least favorite. There's only five of them, so, uh, I have a full list of both of you. What's, what's the order here? Did I miss this? I missed this last time? I knew this one was here, too. Okay, so I guess that's the two that I missed. That's really dumb, actually, that I missed those. Whatever. Um, next one's not until Capital. So we can just rush through the rest of it, I guess. Long-term prospects, chance to win the game, and what kind of decisions did they make in the game this week? Did I agree with them? Were they good decisions? Were they bad decisions? We're start with Monty. And I'm already a little conflicted on Monty because of everything we've already talked about. Monty, I think, does a great job getting Turner to fix Michael and getting the credit for Sneak out, you know, etc. 
explore the city. Yeah, um, um, I, uh, I, I think I'm How the hell did you get in there? I had an amazing for them to win at this point. Um, Anyways, and one of those, I, uh, I think that Monty definitely stands a pretty good chance I'm still um, wrestling with whether or not he can beat Taylor. I think he beats almost dumb. everyone else. I just don't know about the Taylor thing yet. Um, but that's a pretty great spot to be in, no. you know. You know, four out of five bad. Um, or three out of four. Knowing her, I'm uh, she didn't shoot you. And I, I do think that he, uh... Wow, could this, this be a longer team animation? Team what the fuck, dude? Way. So, I think I'll agree you guys made it straight with seven. Alright. Alright, well, the audience does agree. They gave Monty a seven this week. Um, and I, I, it is, it does feel like I am close, I am close to the eight. I don't want people to think like I'm locked in on that seven because it really is close to the eight. And I think the biggest thing holding me back is like, like, literally as we speak, Brittany's talking to the cameras right now and she's saying, Taylor's supposed to have my back. Where is she now? I don't know if I can trust her. Uh, Taylor's telling me she got me. I don't know if I believe it. Her actions are not matching up with her words. And I'm just like, whoa. Yeah, there's a good chance that Monty could still be the he can't play next week. He would have to win the veto. There's a good shot that he's gone. So, yeah. That's just what, that's why I said there's so many variables because there's people yeah. who is like, they're either doing great or they're gone and it's, it's one or the other yeah. yeah and even Alyssa even Alyssa is like even contributing to this because she was you know, you know probing Brittany about like the whole Taylor situation and everything so Alyssa's trying to wake up all of a sudden it's like ooh this is the wrong time people are actually up there making out with Taylor and they're down here like what's going on <laughs> like, yeah, and my thing is like this is all happening without the knowledge of, of what happened this morning with, with you know like uh, god forbid that gets out like oh boy uh, alright well there's Monty at a 7 uh, let's move on to Brittany uh, Mary how you feel Brittany so Brittany again, ups and downs. I mean, the so the rating that we have here for her last week was a four, and that was back when Michael was still in the game, um, and not even necessarily looking like he was completely out the door. Uh, so obviously, a lot has changed for Brittany because of that. Although interestingly, I think that there is a pattern to actually win the game where there wasn't before with Michael here. So like, that's good. She also did pull herself off the block and win a challenge. I'll make my way that's around. Good. Look at her hair. I think her performance in those areas is good. So. I, I went up, I went down, I ended up, I was very close between multiple numbers, but I ended up sticking with the four, but I think that that, it's like that can be high, but there's, there is, there are avenues where I think that she could make good decisions for her game yes. from this point that I didn't think were there before. And if you're rating Brittany Wait, on, what? like, how she's doing for a second that place, then that's higher. Wait, which one's which? I can't tell which one's the shotgun. Say, you went up, you went I think that, no, it's shotgun. Up, so, I, I, I think I can see a lot of arguments oh. for, like, as low as a two. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a lot to skip. Holy shit. That's kind of insane. Once you finish that fight, you're essentially done with the section. If, oh no. No restriction. Speed one. Just to be safe, I'm pretty sure I picked this up. It's a pendant that I need. Oh, actually, this is another puzzle. So, I mean, I think that he certainly it's so fucking weird could still what this game considers a puzzle. Um, I think he's sort of hard pressed to win against Taylor. I don't think it would be a land one. It looks like it's shallow on the right side. I mean, just to be safe, we'll pick this one up. I'm pretty sure it's the other pendant, though. That I didn't get. I know you guys are 
Um, and I think he certainly beats me. So that's, you know, that's not, it's not a bad spot to be in. Um, I do, I do, you know, mostly agree with what we've been saying about his game this season, yeah. that it's a little one. passive. So we'll get we'll get to uh, um, Bill's Town, I think. We're playing at 30 now, but we'll get to Bill's Town, then we'll do one more episode for today. Gears here, isn't there? Six. Six. Come on. Uh, uh, well, I can tell you that the audience actually agrees with you on this. The audience gave Turner a six as well. we we'll go upstairs. I, though, I, I disagree. Oh, I disagree. Yeah. I think a six is uh, is far too high for, for my blood on, uh, on Turner here. Uh, mostly because, uh, again, short-term safety, um, heading into next week, assuming things stay the same, he is, you know, pretty uh, decently likely to leave before. Uh, and then even if he does survive through four, um, nobody's taking him to final two, uh, unless Monty does. Um, but all of that... Uh, Long-term prospects not looking good, especially as things currently stand. He's about to take out Alyssa, uh, head into the final four, um, where his target is Brittany, and he's in the final three with Taylor and Monty. I don't think he can beat either of them, um, which uh, is not great. Uh, which also leads me to decisions being made this week. Why is he so okay in sending Alyssa out? Why is he actively targeting Brittany next week? He actively wants a final three, where I don't think he can win. Uh, what's he doing? Uh, he should, this should not be going to come to him. Wow. He should be going to Brittany and saying, Brittany, let's target Monty next week. Let's work together keep Alyssa. Uh, you know, um, actually, maybe he shouldn't be going to do that, because then Brittany would just run around him. But either way, he should be very open to it. He should, I think tonight he should be dropping hints. I think, yeah, he should be. He should be definitely dropping hints. Like I said, that's where that activity that comes into play. But I do think that the opportunity is presented, you know, when Monty ends up on the block somehow. Stay down, I don't know how many more there are. You know, I just think he's very risk-averse. Home the area. Oh, I still have to do it. 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 Oh, I still uh, it's so fucking fun doing this, if I'm being honest, like just playing the game with the cheat team. However, if Turner by the end of this week has turned around, and it evicts Turn around, it evicts Taylor on Thursday, uh, and is planning to evict Monty, then I will say, okay, he deserved a higher rating. It's just right now, I don't see, like, he hasn't done that yet. Uh, and I haven't seen any indication that he, like, definitely will or anything like that. Sort of like how I, I was forced to give Monty and Turner lower ratings last week because they were planning to take to keep Michael. The thing is, Turner stayed with that plan. He was planning to keep Michael without Monty forcing him to, which makes me all the more suspicious of the fact that he will continue to plan to evict Alyssa and then Brittany, which just puts him in a complete losing spot uh, where I don't think either person takes him to the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, so it's going to be a four for me. Mary, what do you think? Yeah, um, what's that line? Can we just do this after the eviction when we know what happens? <laughs> I think, I, yeah, I, I, so I think I'm going to stick, uh, despite all the conversation, no. I'm going to stick with what I wrote down before the podcast, which was, I give him a five, because I'm grading on the curve that I've created already, and having already given Brittany a four, I think he's in a better spot for Brittany. That being said, his best move is to get Taylor out, and then he's got two options of people he could beat at the end, that's looking like, when better is this right now, so in that scenario, I don't want to, I don't want to lock him into a four, that's why I give him a five, but it's, I, I'm just trying to picture him sitting in the final two, and... What does he say? I, I could even see a scenario. I don't think this is even that far of a stretch where Alyssa beats him in the end. So, oh, I can't swim. No, no. I think it could happen. Like, I, I think it could happen. I could just, depending on what they say. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm really close between a four and a five, but I, I went with the five just so that uh, he would at least be slightly above Brittany. <laughs> uh, I think there's a, there's a way that he could turn it around as Terrence as, 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 as said. I think, I think he's. Maybe I'm just, uh, it's like my, uh, my, my drafting bias coming into effect with the game. it's in the final five. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Really? Some, uh, something gonna happen? I don't know, something gonna happen. I don't know. <laughs> uh, hold on. Is this not considered a puzzle? Like, why are the other things considered a puzzle, but this one isn't? Like, what a weird fucking thing. Yeah, I'm just sitting next to you like everyone else does. <laughs> Every now and then I see Taylor on the block and I'm a voter ass out. Turn around. <laughs> Um, man, this keeps happening to us on these roundtables. Alyssa really? is literally wow. pitching to Turner. That's so dumb. Um, like, why is this not considered a puzzle? Uh, you don't need to convince me, you need to convince oh, look, Brittany. I'm assuming that her response to that is going to be, well, Brittany says he's on my side, so maybe we should have a conversation with the three of us. Take the turn, Turner, it's not too late to change the portal five. <laughs> 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 to turn it around. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so, be careful. Um, let's move on to Taylor. Let's talk about Taylor. This is going to be a, a tough one. I can tell you that uh, the audience gave Taylor, this was a close one, but the audience actually gave Taylor a 7 
Uh, granted, I think most of these votes came in prior to this potential eviction uh, stuff. Okay. Uh, so so uh, I think the, that, uh, the audience may be, may be a little bit behind the times. And then where's uh, the other one? Like Head down the stairs the into the water. So, uh, I can't believe I'm rating Taylor as, like, what is, what is the sentence you're going to say? Is he really, is he really on board? Oh, my God. There's a room um, underwater. So, oh, man, this stuff. So, oh, so I was right. There was one in here. Because I looked and last time, I just didn't see it. The, the Monty thing. Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, it could be good for her long term, theoretically. Yeah, but in the yeah, short right. term, it's definitely concerning. And, um, you know, it's, it's not like a, a ton, there's not a ton of reason to believe that this sh should get out, but, uh, it's definitely, uh, something to be worried about. Uh, I am, in fact, trying to read and speak at the same time, uh, so that I get as much information as possible. Uh, not you cram it. Okay, so here's, here's her situation. Let's, let's, let's ignore the fact that she could be evicted this week. She heads into the final four. Um, if, uh, yeah, so that's everything if Brittany wins HOH, then I think Monty and Turner could evict her. Uh, if, uh, if Turner wins HOH, then, um, I think that she should be pretty fine. I think both Monty and Brittany evict each other. Uh, if she wins HOH, she's fine. So, uh, what is that? Is it happening? <laughs> no, I'm just like, is, is she was like, I, he's like, I wouldn't betray you with him. And then she's like, I promise. He's like, promise. <laughs> oh All my right. God. Um, <laughs> This is this is this is frightening. Turn around. <laughs> if they make another roundtable irrelevant, like uh, an hour after it happens, I'm gonna be so mad at them. Um, right. Anyway, she's in a decent spot. Yeah, one well, tier. Uh, next episode uh, continue the on. There's not the much in the Bill's not really miss. Uh, like one of them I knew already, and then the other one's a pending graveyard. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, one tier. Next episode continue on for now. Thanks for watching.